start again. This is this is historical. I'm exhausted already. Wally Monster in Tasmania, who has made a wood-fired outboard motor that works, made this V2 inboard, which he ran in a boat for years and years and years. And it's made with a simple casting for the head, but there's four identical heads, so you just only need one pattern. So he made the engine, and it works. He then made a 36-page uh, blueprints on how to do it. He then mailed the pattern to Los Angeles, so Pete Barrett got the castings made and made an engine. Pete died before he could put it in a little car, but he made the engine. I purchased that engine from Pete Barrett, so it's in my shop. Then, two months ago, Wally mailed me the wooden pattern. A month ago, I took it to a foundry that's near me who's going to uh, cast eight heads, enough for two engines, quite reasonably priced, just so we can see what's involved. So now we have everything we need. We have the castings, we have the patterns, uh, I mean, we have the blueprints, we have a, a, an engine, because you can look at those blueprints all day long, and you will never figure out how to make the thing, but we have an engine just like it, so you can make it and look and you, it, all it has to do is look exactly like it. And it works. It's a pretty good engine. It's got a uh, three-dimensional cam. Any time you have an engine with poppet valves in a three-dimensional cam, you've arrived. Three-dimensional cam means throttle control, I mean the cutoff control. Yes. What a three-dimensional cam means is you slide the thing back and forth and it'll go frontwards, with a lever. And, go frontwards and backwards and you can have... Uh, Short cutoff, long cutoff. You need long cutoff to get the thing started, and then once it gets spinning, and you got your flywheel spinning, then you uh, cut it back. Usually, you just stick a, a governor on the thing that automatically moves the lever back and forth. What temperature and pressure does this engine? No is idea. It, do you I'm class? A, I'm assuming it would do uh, 500 and 500, but actually, I don't really know. Would this qu classify as a modern steam engine? Oh, it's modern because it has poppet valves, and uh, yes. I love it. This could be it, Tom. Well, the other thing with it is it's made out of weldments. It's made out of angle iron. But once you get one of these things made, you can always make more stuff. For example, the cylinders are machined out of a chunk of iron. Yet it's easy to make them as a casting, or it's even easier to make them as a weldment. Take a piece of pipe. Uh, do something else. The other thing about it is you can find another crankshaft that has more or less anywhere from a two to four inch stroke. And the heads will fit anything, you know, with a two inch uh, uh, bore, but the the stroke, the stroke is sort of irrelevant to hmm. how the heads work. And you can make a long stroke engine or uh, whatever you wanted. You have the castings already? Uh, four weeks ago, I was promised them in six to eight weeks, so no. But I have the foundry lined up, and the guy said he would do it. Excellent. What's your estimated time of arrival on a complete engine? Years. No idea. No idea. I've got uh, too few workers and too much to do. Okay. Let's accelerate that. 